Hey everybody, Nick here with M-Audio. Today I'm going to show you how to register your M-Track 8x4M and how to download, install, and set up the included software Pro Tools first. Let's get started. Start by logging into your account on the M-Audio website. If you do not already have an account on the M-Audio website, you can create one by selecting Account, then choose Create Account. When you've signed into your M-Audio account, click Register Product. Select the M-Track 8x4M from the drop-down list of products in the first field. Next, enter the serial number found on the barcode label on the bottom of your M-Track. Be sure to enter the full serial number, including the leading 21 in parentheses, into this field. Finally, choose the date on which you purchased the M-Track and select Register My Product. When your product has been registered, you will be brought to the My Products section of your M-Audio account. The download links and authorization codes for the software that's included with your M-Track 8x4M and all M-Audio products you've registered will be found in this menu. To download Pro Tools first, click Redeem under its heading in your account. You will now be taken to Avid's website to create your Avid Master account. There are five steps we will complete to access the Pro Tools first software and the included content. Click Get Started Now to begin. In step one, you will enter your credentials to create your Avid Master account. Fill out the required fields and click Create an Account. Step two will verify your email address. Click Yes in this dialog and a verification email will be sent to the email address you entered in the previous step. Open a new tab in your web browser and log into your email. You will have a message from Avid waiting for you with a link to verify your account. Click the link to verify the account and you'll be taken back to Avid's website. In step 3, you will enter a few details about your musical background that will help personalize your Avid account. Take a minute to fill out this questionnaire and click Next to proceed to step 4, which will link your Avid Master account with your iLock account. If you do not already have an iLock account, you can create one on this page by entering a password at the left. If you create an iLock account on this page, the email address you entered for your Avid Master account will be used as your iLock handle. If you already have an iLock account, enter your iLock ID in the field at the right and click Next. You will now be prompted for your iLock account's password. Enter the password in the field and click Authorize. The final step will take you to a web page where you can download Pro Tools first and the included content. It is not necessary to download everything you see in your account right now. You can return to your Avid account to download the rest of the included instruments and effects anytime. For now, I'll download the Pro Tools software and a reverb effect plugin that we can put on a track that we've created once we have the software open. If you do not already have the iLock License Manager software on your computer, go to www.ilock.com to download and install it. Launch the iLock License Manager software, click Sign In at the upper left corner, and you'll be prompted to enter your login credentials. Enter your user ID and password and select Sign In. Notice that a license for Pro Tools First has been deposited into your iLock account from when we were at the Avid website. Let's activate Pro Tools First on your computer. Do that by clicking the line for Pro Tools First in your iLock account, dragging the license over to your computer in the Devices menu at the left, and dropping it on the computer. iLock will indicate that the computer received the authorization, and you can now close iLock. Next, let's install the reverb that we downloaded from the Avid website. I'm using a Mac operating system in this example, so I will use a .dmg file to mount and run the installer. If you are using a Windows operating system, the process will be similar. Run the .exe file to begin installation. Whatever your operating system is, click through the installer and enter your computer's password if prompted. And note, you will not need to authorize any of those plugins you downloaded from your Avid account. The installer will indicate when the process has completed. Now let's run the Pro Tools first installer. Click through the installer and enter your computer's password if you're prompted. The installer will indicate when the process has completed. One quick thing to note, if you're using a Mac operating system, the M-Track 8x4M will behave as a class compliant device, so you won't need to install a driver to use it as an audio device. If you're using a Windows operating system, a driver is required. You can download that from your M-Audio account. Let's get that now. Return to your Registered Products section in your M-Audio account, find the M-Track 8x4M, and download the driver for Windows. 
run the .exe file and click through the installer. The installer will indicate when the process has completed. Now let's launch Pro Tools First so we can record some audio. Enter your Avid account credentials when prompted and Pro Tools First will initialize. Create a new project by selecting Create at the left, give a name to your project, and click Create. Select the Mtrak 8x4M by clicking the Setup menu and choosing Playback Engine. Expand the Playback Engine drop-down menu and choose the Mtrak 8x4M here. I'm going to verify that the Mtrak is selected as both the Playback Engine and Default Output device. Now for a quick checklist to make sure that the Mtrak hardware is set up the way you want it to be. Make sure the Mtrak is turned on and that your microphone or instrument is connected to the Mtrak. If you are using a microphone, connect it to one of the Combo XLR inputs on the back of the Mtrak. If your microphone requires phantom power to function, enable it on the microphone's channel by toggling on the phantom power switch on the Mtrak. If you're using an instrument like a guitar or a bass guitar, connect it to one of the instrument inputs on the front of the Mtrak. Set your input's gain with the channel gain knobs. Use the LED meters to make sure your signal is not too loud and clipping. Finally, set the monitoring source on the Mtrak by turning the knob toward direct or USB. Setting the knob toward direct will give you the direct input of your microphone straight to the Mtrak's output. Setting the knob toward USB will produce the audio that's being processed by your computer, in this case by Pro Tools. This knob will not affect what is recorded into your Pro Tools session, only what you hear in the headphone and main monitor outputs. Now let's create a new audio track so we can record audio into our Pro Tools session. Select the track menu, choose New, create a mono audio track, and click Create. We are using a mono audio track because we're recording with one input source. In my case, I'm using a microphone connected to input 1. Arm the track for recording by clicking the arm button at the left. Click the record button in Pro Tools and press the play button in Pro Tools transport menu to play the sequencer and begin recording. Click stop in the Pro Tools transport menu to stop recording. You can add effects to your tracks by clicking an insert slot and choosing an effect. I'll add the reverb effect we installed earlier to my track now. Use the plugin's GUI to adapt its parameters to your liking. Finally, if you want to record two audio sources in stereo, like two microphones, create a stereo track. Select the track menu, choose New, and create a stereo audio track. Select the pair of inputs to which you've connected your input devices from the interface menu on the track. You will notice that depending on what kind of track you're using, stereo or mono, the amount of inputs available on the M-Track will be different. A stereo track offers four pairs of inputs, while a mono track offers eight individual inputs. I hope this video has helped! Please leave all comments and questions in the section below, and check the link in the description for more popular guides and tutorials. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time!